I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to 6pm content on Sunday evening. Hopefully we get some upgrades today, I'm not... Um... Not holding my breath, mind you, but it would be nice if we could get some sort of repeatable SBC just to sink a few coins into, have a bit of fun with. Uh, we had uh, Ollie Watkins yesterday review on the channel if you want to go check that out. Not a bad card, really. Uh, reasonably well priced. Not not great value, not bad value. You know, bang in the middle of where it should be, in my opinion. Let's find out. Do we get any repeatable SBCs today? Player moments, Leon Goretzka. That... Is, oh, that's going to be expensive. Three requirements. I can I can already tell you that I won't be completing this. Uh, community team of the season so far challenge for a small rare gold players pack. I'll complete that even though it is untradeable. Uh, we didn't get the, the dream, which is the... Hang on, what? Did they just get rid of? Or oh, is he in... Oh, is he in players? He is in players. Right, okay. So that... Right, never mind. Let's go back. So I didn't complete that from yesterday. I think I will do, and I'll complete that as well. We'll open both packs and get nothing. But still, both untradeable as well, though, which is a bit of a shame. Just trying to, you know, drag those coins out of you a little bit more. So uh, I was about to not bash them, but I was going to start criticizing the fact that it's three segments. Is it really good enough at this stage of the game? Um, oof, maybe, maybe. Um, it's a good card, right? We'll talk more about it. We'll get into in in depth. But what I was gonna say are oh, three segments. I start moaning about it, but because it's available until the rest of the well, to the end of the game, there are an awful lot of cards you can link this guy to. Kimmich, Boateng, Alaba, so many good cards, and those are just the buy-in cards. Um, there are plenty of other cards like Delaney has got a very good CDM card that you can link in here. Uh, we'll have a look at the requirements in just a second, but uh, what are we saying? So, four-star week for three-star skills. I mean, again, I, I bitch, I not bitch about it, but it's like a little bit of a... Why not just give him four-star, four-star? Not the end of the world, though. Let's move on. 92 acceleration's good. Sprint speed's good. Finishing's good. Shot power's good. Long shot's fantastic. Tap position's very good. The passing across the board is brilliant. Not, not a... Not a complaint in sight there, really, because who cares about crossing? Free kicks, I'm sure everyone has their own dedicated free kick taker. I know I do. I've got, like, two or three. And the vision of the short passing, realistically, is all you really care about there. So that's banging. Uh, we've got some good dribbling. I wouldn't say great dribbling. I mean, the actual dribbling ball control stats are very good. The reactions are very good. And the composure is a good stat. The agility and the balance, you could argue, touch on the low side considering he's, what, 6'2"? Yeah, 6'2 as well. But I'm all right with that, actually. I've got a, a, a player review coming out maybe in an hour or two after this. Um, that card has terrible pace, not great agility, and terrible. And I mean terrible balance. Put a particular chem cell on him. Doesn't actually feel too bad and feels quite agile. So look out for that, and I'll explain a little bit more. But if you put that particular chem style on Goretzka... Maybe, maybe he wouldn't feel too bad. And of course, rel relatively good to, uh, defensive stats as well. Great physicals across the board. We've gone on about it long enough. That's a good card. 86 with an inform, 86 with an inform, 87 with an inform. It's not cheap. That's a good pack. Small rare gold players pack. The rare Electrum can be good. I won't be saying that when I open mine in a second. And the rim, the prime mix, sorry, is, is awful. Uh, why why not just give two small rare gold players packs and then give the rare Electrum? But at the moment, there's nothing, there's no way you can sort of grind an upgrade to get that, right? So at the moment, I, I would say that that is pricey. However, when there are upgrades to grind, and maybe you choose untradeable rewards from rivals, weekend league, obviously you're going to get rewards for that as well. Maybe you end up using your reds because you're going to get high rated reds theoretically. Will you use them for anything? Maybe, maybe not. You could use them for this. Now, I'm not sure what the price of this is going to come in at, so I'm going to have to go take a look. I would be interested to see what the objectives are like. I would be very surprised. Like, I'd fall off my chair, I think, if I saw anything in here. Uh, that wasn't in here yesterday. So they added Laporte yesterday, of course. I nearly missed that. Um, 
And yeah, they haven't added anything else. Well, that's fine. I wasn't expecting it. Didn't even expect it yesterday, and they still gave it to me. So there we go. Um, Goretzka, there are a lot of happy people out there. And I, I can understand why. It's a great card. And because it's there for all of FIFA now, can't get my game up. Um, because it's there for all of FIFA, I think that that is um, that that is. I would. I don't know if it's spot on. I want to know the value of it. I want to know how expensive it is. So, what was uh, what is Akadi? Akadi is an eighty-six rated team, no inform. That is currently coming in at around one hundred and thirty k. So, if we were to say that the two, the the eighty-six rated team with the inform twice is about 300k and then the 87 rated team is going to be what 200,000 coins that's like 500k is is that worth is is that a 500k card i want to say yeah because i think it is but something in my mind is saying no don't be stupid but then i'm thinking no i, I mean i can see why that would be half a mil Cause yeah, cause that's 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 a fair price. Surely that's not bad, and it's there for the rest of the game. I like that. I do like it. Um, I, I I wouldn't. I'm not gonna not complete it. I'm not gonna do it now because I don't have what it what I what I need in the club. But over time, I would actually be tempted to complete that on the road to glory, because I could link him with my Kimmich. And maybe then go after Boateng as well, which would be a really good card to pick up. I, I do like it, though. I do think it's worth it, considering it's there for the rest of the game. So, before I complete it, let me just see what this is. Uh, 85 chem. No more than eight leagues. No more than two clubs. Plays from the same league. Ma max eight. Okay. Goal players minimum six. I mean, that is pretty straightforward, right? This SBC, I think, was made just to trip me up. It, it just doesn't make any sense, right? Leagues, maximum eight, okay? You can't have more than eight leagues. Clubs, max two. So you can't have more than two clubs. How can I possibly have more than two leagues if I can only have two clubs? Why is the leagues max eight even a thing? Place in the same league, maximum eight. Fine, that makes sense. But the, the whole leagues, max eight, clubs, max two... That threw me completely, didn't make any sense, and I was sat there, how is that, how does that, what? Anyway, doesn't matter, it's done, right? That's that one done, used MLS and a couple of La Liga, had to buy the centre-back from A-Bar, that's it, job done. That is a small, rare goal players pack. I do have one more to complete, though, that's the one from yesterday, which is a rare Electrum. No doubt this is going to be something equally as confusing. I have to have seven clubs but I can only have three nationalities and then the players from the same nation have to be no more than eight with a 79 rated overall. There's a lot of requirements there. So just Pepe Reina to buy and we can uh, we can open those packs. So there we go. Just a bunch of Argentinian players, a couple of Premier League players. I've had to use 83 Garay. He's untradeable. So it's not the end of the world, although it would have been nice to keep him, but I needed to get that rating and I couldn't be bothered to go all the way back around to make sure that it was done. So there we go. Both of the community uh, team of the season so far challenges are now complete. Two decent packs, to be fair. Uh, and for the day as well, not a bad card to work towards uh, for maybe using rewards. And of course, if they decide to drop any uh, repeatable upgrades look how long it's taking for those 100k packs to go people just not interested uh, they need to uh, crack on with the premier league i think i'm going to open one of these first just so that i can get the horrible laggy stutter out of the way which is inevitably going to give me give it to me there we go just in case we get something decent it'll look better then you know what i mean i'm just going to pop all that in the club not that any of it's worth anything anyway and there we go. So we'll open the rare Electrum first, then we'll open the pack that I'm sure a lot of people will be hyped to open themselves, the small rare gold. I'm not expecting anything. I've not packed the blue yet, though, and I have opened my fair share. We are going to get a Libertadores or a Sudamericana card in here, though. I hate those. They ruin my fun because they just they take away from the is it a board, is it not a board, because we just don't know what's behind it. Real Madrid player at the end there could be worth a little bit. Dusseldorf player could be worth a little bit as well. Um, he is worth a little bit, you know, not bad. Although, it's untradeable, so never mind. I forgot it was untradeable. That's what EA do to you, you know, they suck me in there. I've got it, 
two players worth a little something. Could have made maybe 12k back from that. That would have been brilliant. Nope, untradeable. Can we pack something decent from this, please, EA? Because you shafted me in that last one. We are going to get a board. Can it be blue? No, it's not a walkout either. So uh, we're going to get Portuguese CDM. Danilo Pereira? Of course it is. Every pack is Danilo Pereira, except when it isn't. Yeah, work that one out. There we go. Um, that is um, that is the content for today. Goretzka, not bad at all. Let me just see if I can refresh Footbin just to see what we can get. So, yeah, currently, I mean, it's a bit, li little bit less than what I said on um, on Xbox. He's currently coming in at around uh, 450k on Xbox and just over 500k on PlayStation and PC. I think, personally, if you have something in the club to offset that a little bit, if they decide to bring out some repeatable SPCs. Maybe you take untradeable rewards on Thursday. Maybe you've even got some squad battle rewards to come uh, tonight. Then that becomes a much more attractive price with two decent packs back. N not great, but they're both tradable, so you never know. And uh, yeah, not, not a bad SBC, that. Not a bad SBC at all. Let me know what you think of it in the comments section down below. If you have enjoyed today's content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for you, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.